This is a review of Fragrance Ones, so Jeremy Fragrance's newest fragrance, Black Tie. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monika Tjoch and on this channel we talk about colognes for men, so if you love colognes and if you like fragrance, subscribe to this channel, press that notification bell to get notified when I post my next video. But today we're going to talk about, I've got a sample here, black tie for men. And I was really curious about this fragrance. Um, I was like, I really want to smell it, but I don't know if I want to purchase a whole bottle. So you guys will probably ask me, where did I get the sample from? And this is a sample from perfumista.co.uk. And I like the website, um, this is not sponsored, but I like the website and have shopped there a lot just because I feel like they use uh, they watch YouTube reviews because they always have like the fragrances that are trending in the fragrance community. I feel like whenever I go on there, they have got the newest like Jeremy fragrance fragrances like BDK at the moment. They've got everything, so it's a great source for those fragrances that are hard to find, especially samples. So I got my sample from there. I have had samples from there when I whenever I shop for samples I always um, request one sample of a fragrance that I already have so I can compare it and know that they're selling the real deal and that's what I did with this house. Fragrance one. This black tie fragrance is supposed to be quite a formal fragrance. I have worn it and tested it but now I want to just re smell it i'll read you the notes the notes of brazilian mandarin orange oil italian lemon gaiac wood vetiver cardamom and patchouli and this is a fragrance made by alberto morias that has done loads of great fresh fragrances and for me this fragrance when i first smelled it i was expecting a much darker fragrance personally because black tie i feel like formal fragrances to me, the best formal fragrance ever is Dior Homme uh, Parfum and that fragrance just exudes formal to me, very black tie appropriate. This is a much different take on that situation. I feel like this is a much more fresher and cleaner black tie fragrance and I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this to be a woody, a very woody fragrance uh, and it's not and I think that might have something to do with Alberto Morias, you know, he does freshies very very well so I feel like he has done black tie but in a fresh way. Um, to me this fragrance is nice um, but it's a bit too clean for me for it to be a black tie fragrance. If the title was taken away uh, I would probably see it as like an all year round fragrance um, and it's casual in a way, not super casual like Dio Sauvage, but I would imagine it on somebody just wearing it to the office uh, probably every single day. So for the purpose of like the name uh, together with this fragrance, for me they don't necessarily go together. And this fragrance, it's, I can smell the mandarin, so it's fresh. And it's kind of also soapy, but in a heavy way. It's like a bar of soap um, that was put on something. You know, if you had mandarin, uh, a slice of mandarin, and you coated it with bar soap because the bar of soap was a bit wet and you just rubbed it on that. That's how this fragrance kind of smells to me. It's got a woody base, but it's not a heavy wood. It's a very, quite a soft wood to me, woody scent. This is definitely a fragrance that I would they could be nighttime, but for me it's more of a daytime fragrance for, to me personally. Uh, and as for the scent itself, I would rate it probably in like maybe six and a half out of ten. I much prefer, much much like 
I prefer Office for Men. Office for Men is a daytime fragrance and it's great at that. It's amazing. Whereas this, it's not really formal enough for me. So it just doesn't fit that vibe. But also comparing to Office for Men, it doesn't do the all year round fragrance justice in a way because I much prefer Office for Men from me and woman smelling Office for Men. It's very attractive, very appealing, easy to like, just so easy to wear. Whereas this, I don't feel like everybody's going to love it. It's got that mass appeal um, in the scent, but Office for Men is much easier to like. This some people might dislike and I wouldn't... Excuse me, madame. Thank you. So this fragrance I wouldn't really recommend for a black tie situation over some other ones that my husband has in his collection. I just wouldn't do it. Let me know if you guys uh, have smelled this fragrance. What do you think? To me, I am really curious to try the date um, fragrance because I feel like from the notes I would like it much much more than this um, and this also it lasts quite a long time and it's very linear so if you love it then it's great news for you because it won't change much it will stay pretty much the same let me know how would you rate this fragrance be kind in the comments because some people just go crazy like i'm not here to hate on anybody and you shouldn't either i will not stand for this on my channel so let's talk about the fragrance itself and whether you have actually smelt it and whether you liked it or not uh, i post every monday and thursday and of course um remember if you love a fragrance just wear it even this one if you love it just wear it just wear what you love basically uh, and I'll see you all again very very soon.